Hello guys, it's Ben from Next Gen Base, and it's Bank Holiday Monday here in the UK. I've just had a delivery from Amazon, because I kind of forgot that something went on sale on the Lego store. Um, so I ordered it from Amazon. It's arrived. Let's get it unboxed. And there it is. Been looking forward to this since it was announced. We have the Lego Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck. Now you can see there we've got it's an 18 plus set, it's 1222 pieces, and it just looks ace, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. I just you can see the Aloy minifig, and then on the back of the box, we have the tall neck itself, we have couple of uh, highlights there. We've got the Watcher there and we've got Aloy on top of the tall neck. We've also got some artwork from the game. So I think probably the best thing to do, get it unboxed um, and then I'll do a build. We'll probably put like a time lapse of the build because some of it does actually look really cool. So uh, been looking forward to this for a long time. You may be able to see just behind me there, I do actually have the Jurassic Park set and the DeLorean as well. It's been an expensive few months in terms of Lego, but time to build the Horizon tall neck. Okay, so here we are. This is the Lego Horizon Forbidden West tall neck. Uh, you can see there. Once again, 1,222 pieces, set number 79, sorry, set number 76989, 18 plus. Um, some detailing on the side of the box, if we can see that. Yeah, there we go, just that tall neck there. And that's about it for that. Um, obviously, got a little preview there of Aloy and the Watcher. So, let's get the box open. I'm not a, not a huge fan of um, these like perforate boxes because there is something about me that's wrong. <laughs> I just don't like destroying boxes. It's, um... Okay, is the box empty. So we'll sort these out. So we've got box five, box four, box three, box six, seven. Okay, so eight bags in total. Put those over to the side, number one. And then in addition, we have this little flex piece. That's there, and we also have a green plate. So, obviously gonna be starting with bag number one, but let's take a quick look at the instruction book. And also, yeah, sticker sheet. For anybody that's uh, interested, knows that Lego sometimes is a bit OTT with the stickers, but this actually looks all right. There's, what, eight stickers overall in there? Uh, not two, a few of them are the same. But Okay, so let's have a look in here. We've got the World of Horizon, a thousand years after a global, clat global cataclysm. The Earth has been remade into a lush, thriving ecosystem with a new dominant species, the machines. You can meet the designer, Isaac Snyder there, and then we've got the machines, the tall neck, basically shows what's going on there. Includes tall grass on the base where Aloy can hide to uh, avoid the watcher. That's quite cool, a little comparison between actual Aloy and Lego Aloy. Um, and then, okay, cool, right, we're straight into the build, so... What I'm probably going to do is uh, build Aloy, so I know people are pretty uh, pretty keen to see the minifigs, so I'll build Aloy and then I'll do a time lapse. So. So. Clear out all the bags, drop there. Find Aloy. So these are Aloy's parts. Have a kind of a regular look and a quizzical look. Uh, just remember the focus on this camera is quite short, so 
Okay, I'm going to go with the regular look, and then we get the hair piece. So the hair piece is actually really interesting. Um, we've got it's almost a bit rubbery, and then here um, you can see there is this hard plastic bit in there, which is the focus. So yeah, quite a quite a soft rubbery hair piece. Uh, with that focus in the middle, and you can see there the, the sort of plastic mechanism that holds it in. So, pop Aloy there. So, Aloy is there. I will also put a little close up uh, video of Aloy as well, because, you know, we know how that is. So, uh, we need a grey piece, blue flower. And that, that goes there, like that. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't go all the way because the blue stud is uh, blocking it. Um, then we'll get the white stud there, pop that on. And then find the blade. Blade is there. Blade go. And that red bit goes into the bottom. Okay, so that's Aloy's spear. I'm not a big fan of how that spear sits because it seems a bit it seems a bit loose. So anyway, here we go. There is Aloy with her spear. And again, I'll stick some uh, I'll stick some close-ups of that in. But now, time to get on with the build. And there we go, after a couple of hours of building, which you've just seen in the time lapse, it is complete. So there we go, that is the Lego Horizon Forbidden West tall neck. Um, see if I can get it in frame a little bit more. Um, there is some really, really lovely detail uh, in this set. For example, things like the landing gear for the uh, antenna at the back of the head, which are movable. Got swords there for the little platforms that Aloy can jump up on. Um, and then here we've actually got snowboards. Uh, so they are snowboards there with a couple of uh, studs on the back. Um, and they're again fully posable. So that's that. Um, the interesting thing about this, it does kind of. I mean, oh, just dropped Aloy. Um, so if you hold it, it kind of. It, it's kind of a. Obviously, a display piece. Um, it does wobble a little bit, but you know, you're not going to be kind of moving this about. Uh, there isn't too much articulation, so basically the ball joints are here, here, um, and the same on the other side. There's no articulation here, so it's kind of a, a static pose. Um, but again, this is really a, a display piece more than anything else. Um, you can adjust the angle of the head, uh, and I'll stick some more B-roll and stuff in there as well. Uh, but there are some really, really nice little touches in here. I mean, the watcher uh, down here, you can see, um, you can change the lens colour out. I've got it red so that it's uh, 
it's there basically waiting for Aloy to uh, to attack. Um, and if I just put him back on there, there we go. Um, this detail here as well, the um, the set of traffic lights. Uh, again, I'll stick some more B-roll up, but it's it's a wonderful little building technique. I mean, you you kind of build the the traffic lights out, and then you have the the cable or the the vine, sorry, going up here um, that wraps around everything. It's just really nice. And then uh, you can take the tall neck off. There are four little uh, uh little plates i want to say but i know what i mean the little, little poles that you you stick up um and go into uh, out the ground there's some long grass there that aloy hides in um but the aloy minifig is is fantastic uh, and again i sort of showed it a little bit earlier there you go you have aloy there with the custom hairpiece and if i take the bow out of her hand you can see the side printing on the arms um but that little bit there just in the head is uh is so cool like you take the head you take the head off it's got like a she's got a jewel printed head so that's on one side that's on the other side um but each side of it has that little uh, that has the focus printed on and then the um the the plastic part of the hair frames the uh, focus absolutely perfectly so there we go. That is the uh, Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck Lego set. I have been waiting for this uh, to come out since they announced it. We, I got very, very excited when it uh, when it was announced. Um, just one of the main reasons is for the the Aloy, Aloy minifig. Um, it's so cool. The printing is is fantastic. Uh, but overall, a really nice little uh, nice little Lego set that is going to be on display next to my PS5 and my Series X on my Switch. So that is going to live over in my little gaming area. Um, fantastic set overall. Uh, it was £70, so £69.99 uh, from... I think it's currently sold out on the uh, on the Lego store, but I got mine from Amazon. Um, but yeah, really, really nice detail build. Um, I absolutely love it, and... Uh, I hope there are some more to come. Like I think you know, I'd love to see a Thunderjaw. I'd love to see um, uh, just any of the you know the Rollerbacks, whatever whatever new monsters or whatever new machines they can get. I'd happily like to see those uh, in Lego form, or just more PlayStation or more gaming franchise in general. Like I think we've had Sonic now, we've had Mario, we've now got Horizon. I think there was a rumor that there was an Uncharted set coming, so. Who knows? Right, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see some more cool stuff in the world of gaming from Lego. Really enjoyed it. I think the one thing that would potentially set it off perfectly is if down here um, we just had a little Horizon nameplate. For example, if I look at the Death Star trench from there, you've got Lego Star Wars, and then on the Jurassic Park set, it's got like Lego Jurassic Park. I think maybe just a little nameplate would have set this set it off perfectly, but. I can't complain too much because, uh, yeah, fantastic build overall and it took me a good couple of hours. That's going to do us though, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you have enjoyed it, um, drop us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel. Let us know. Are you picking one up? All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.